Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we are gonna vibe code our own game. And here's the best part. We're vibe coding it, which means we're doing it with natural language, or literally, you type in what you want and you get what you ask for. You do not need to know how to code, although it does help. You don't need to do it. You can see here on the left side here, I added in my prompt. I'm gonna show you how to set up the correct prompt, what to request, how to get it to do it inside Python and inside Deep Agent, which is what we're using, and it's literally gonna go through it step by step. So join me, let's lock in, let's take a look. All right, so here we go. We're logged into Deep Agent. This is the blank screen. This is what you're shown when you first log in. If this is your first time using this, I'm gonna go down here to Safari, and you'll see here, this is the website where you can download and get cooking with, and it's only 10 bucks per user per month. It's an absolute steal, because you can do literally anything with this AI agent. It is crazy. All right, back into Deep Agent. Let's get cooking here on the main screen. You'll see a few things. If you wanna just get started really, really quickly to try out some functionality, go ahead and do that. You can create a Stripe integrated website, a rag chatbot, anything you can imagine it here. You can go ahead, click on it, off you go. For this one, we're vibe coding, we're creating stuff. So we've got our own prompt ready. So all you need to do is literally type in the prompt right here into the middle, I guess, middle bar here. So here we go. The role, you're a lead Python gameplay programmer. And by the way, if today's build got you thinking, hey, I should finally learn Python. Well, this is the easiest way I've found to start. Brilliant teaches programming with Python the way developers actually think, interactively. No dry lectures, just small satisfying problems where you write real code and see instant feedback, building intuition fast. You'll start with the basics, variables, loops, and lists, and then level up writing clean functions and debugging step by step. Each exercise is a mini puzzle. Change a line, rerun, watch the output snap into place. It makes concepts stick. And when you're ready, you can branch into complementary tracks like programming with functions or data and algorithms all in the same app. I like it because it fits into real life. 10 minutes on your phone, one quick win, and you're done. Keep that streak and you'll be surprised how fast you can ship your first Python script. To learn for free on Brilliant, go to brilliant.org forward slash King AI, scan the QR code on screen, or just click the link in the description. It will take you there. Brilliant, by the way, has also given our viewers 20% off an annual premium subscription, which gives you unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Your objective is to create a crisp, Tower Defense Circuit Siege with modular towers and paths. So we're going to create a tower defense type game. This can be anything you want it to be. It can be as simple as snakes and ladders and tic-tac-toe all the way up to an asteroids blaster type game. You name it, you can do it. I'm just going to give you one really good example here. Here are the features that I'm requesting. Path-based enemies with waypoints, multiple maps with different routes. This is not a simple game here. We, I'm showing this to you very deliberately because this is going to be pretty complicated. Basic splash, show uh, slow towers, dot dun, damage over time showers, chain sniper towers, enemy types, fast, armored, shielded, guys, so many different things, targeting modes, hotkeys, it's all in here. You can, of course, adjust this as you see fit, depending on what you're looking for. You'll see here under tech, I've, I've basically said, hey, this is being done in Python, Python 3.11, and to be particular, and I've gone ahead and suggested the various libraries and things like that. So, oh, SFX music mixer with volume settings. Yeah, let's get some let's get some audio up in this here. And guys, as I go through this here, you'll see the different structure that I've suggested here, the engines, the games, the acceptance criteria, the levels, the testing, the deliverables. It's all in here, guys. This entire prompt will be. In the description below, if you want to copy and paste it verbatim, go ahead and do that. If you don't and you want to make it your own, go ahead and do that. Once you've got a prompt you like, go ahead and click on the go button here, a little purple button, and then presto, it's going to go ahead and start cooking. But here's the best part. While this is an AI agent and this is vibe coding, it is also human in the loop. So what it's going to do is it's going to ask me a couple of clarifying questions just to make sure that it knows exactly what I want. So here we go. Visual style. What would you like? What would you prefer the game? I'm going to be like minimalist because I'm just going to go quickly through this. Audio assets, you choose. For difficulty, you choose. Stretch goals, you choose. You can, of course, be specific if you want to. Browser deployment, should should this be a web-based version using Pygame or should you prefer a Next.js web app? You know what? Let's go with a web-based using, oops, paste. Web-based using Pygame. So that's a fair one. 
All right, so let's go ahead with that pie pig bag. Oh, that's a great name for something. All right, we're going to go ahead and do that. And you can see here, I've used Python a little bit, but I am no expert. But that actually leads me to the next part here. So while this loads, let's take a look at something else while I got you. All right, welcome back. So let's see what we got. Circuit Siege. Look at this is incredible. Look at this here, guys. This is some serious stuff. This isn't just some tic-tac-toe game. This looks pretty darn fancy here. Wave 1 of 20. Wave Progress. If I want to start, I can just click that button here. Here's the Tower Constructions. I guess I could go ahead and click on these here. I guess I put towers down as like this. I could put a slow tower here. I don't know how to play it yet. I haven't read the instructions, but I can already tell that it's working. So, I mean, there we go, guys. Look at this. This is fantastic. Now, on the left side here, again, you can see here the quick tips. So let's start from the bottom here. Here is how to play the game. Use splash towers at path curves, slow towers early in the path, etc., etc. The game is working in the window here in the browser. Let's go down here and see what it did here so it did a ton of things here so every one of these little i guess you'd say uh boxes here you can click on every single one and you can see exactly what it did what code it ran whether or not it pulled in a library everything so if you are a coder if you're a python person you can go in and go through this step by step you can deploy it here if you want to put it on your website a custom domain or maybe a custom subdomain you can just type it in here and it will work. There's so many things here. Computer action, what did it do? You can, again, go through all of these step by step if you're so inclined. You can also click here again. Here are all the components for all of you developer types, and on it goes. So this is pretty cool stuff, guys. That is how you create a game with Python. You create it with Deep Agent. This is fantastic stuff. Links in the description. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.